So, when I was a kid, I really liked to read. That's probably apparent by the title of the show in and of itself. In fact, I talk a lot about reading. I ended up getting my degree in English. I was an English major and still love to read, right? And a lot of that came from a woman that I did not even know existed until I was about 11 years old. And it was my great aunt who was a fortune teller. She was actually a fortune teller here in New Orleans. My dad's a Baptist minister. He doesn't talk about the crazy great aunt fortune teller who lives in New Orleans. <laughs> But when I was 11, she retired, so I guess at that point they deemed her safe for me to be around. And one of the things that she liked to read was poetry. And she read me poetry out of this book, and it's a book of Tennyson's poetry. And when she passed away, she left it to me. So this book means a lot to me. Now, I need someone to come up and help, as you guys see. This is very interactive. I have a lot of people. Um, let's see. Ma'am, would you like to help, please, scarf short hair? Very good. Give her a round of applause, please. So, thank you. So, in this book, you can see we have, well, most of it, we have left-hand columns and right-hand columns. There's a few places where we don't, but the vast majority of it does. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is just pick left or right. It's a very easy decision, but I want this to be your decision, not my decision. I don't want to influence you in any way. Now, before you choose, let me tell you, the kind of person who picks the left could be seen as somebody who's kind of wishy-washy. You can't really, <laughs> can't really make good decisions. Um, and they just kind of meander from place to place. The kind of person who picks the right can be seen as somebody who is decisive, who is a leader, who knows that their choices are good choices. Now, don't let anything I've said sway your decision. <laughs> but left or right, well, before you do, let me tell you, the kind of person who picks the left can be seen as somebody who makes good choices because they think about them before they make them. They weigh the options and therefore they know what's to come. The kind of person who picks the right can be somebody uh, seen as somebody who is rash who rushes headlong into things and makes terrible decisions because they never think of the consequences. Now, without me influencing you in any way, just pick left or right, whichever you would like. Yeah, tell me, please. Right. right. Very good. Very good. That's good. In the medieval period, did you know the left was called the sinister? It's considered the, the path of evil, so I'm glad you picked right. I was afraid you are going to pick left, to be honest. All right. Right. So, come back here with me. You're going to get to take part now by choosing somebody out there. They can keep their seat, but you can pick whoever you would like. Okay. It's kind of hard to see when you get back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I say yeah, yeah, yeah. the other girl in the scarf? The other girl in the scarf. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. Now, what's your name? I'm Anna. Anna. And this book has, you're up here to confirm it, Veronica. It has 687 pages. Yes. 687 pages. And I just need you to pick a number between 1 and 687, whatever number you would like. Tell me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was sending it to you. Oh, I got you. Okay. Um, this one works a little different. <laughs> 472. 472. Yes. Now, I will explain why this works a little different, though. That was a free will choice, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything to influence it, right? Here's the interesting thing. I don't know if you noticed me moving my hand, but I kept drawing 472, hoping you would pick 472. Now, knowing that, do you want to stay with that page, or do you want to change pages? I'll stick with it. You'll stay with 472, so you don't mind being manipulated, that's fine. <laughs> Now, and you get to pick somebody else who can also stay in their seat. While you're doing that, real quick, we're going to turn to page 472. Let's make sure it has good. It has left hand or right hand columns. And Veronica, I want to show you what we're going to do. We're going to pick a, a phrase here, and we'll use page 473 for the sake of example. But if we stop there, it would be rich, but the loneliest in a lonely sea. Does that make sense? I mean, I know the phrase might not, but the instructions. If we stop there, there in the seaward gazing mountain gorge. Make sense? So 472, right hand column. And who would you like to help out? Um, how about um, the man in the last row? Man in the last row, what's your name? Chris. Chris. Very good. 472, right hand column. In just a moment, I would like to say start. At any point after I say start, you just say stop. Make sense? Yes. Very good. Veronica, your goal is to make sure, watch my hand, and when he says stop, 
should I stop? Okay. Start. Stop. I stopped when he said stop. Correct. And that was a free will choice as well, correct? Yes. <laughs> I like that little pause. <laughs> now, generally, when you give somebody an instruction and make eye contact with them after about two seconds, they comply. You were a little longer than that. I'm going to take that as meaning you're headstrong, not slow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> would you like to stay where we are? Or would you like to move down the page or move up the page? Just stay where we are. Whichever one you would like. Stay where we are. Stay where we are. Very good. Let's see what we got. Can you read that out loud, Veronica? And tender curving lines of cream, creamy spray. And tender curving lines of creamy spray. So that I could <laughs> Chris, did you write Hustler? Tennis, <laughs> 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 uh, that sounds more like Lord Bobby. <laughs> oh, a few people get it. Yes, that's how I stratify my words. <laughs> 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 uh, or for everyone else, it sounds more like that. <laughs> and tender curvy lines of creamy spray. There's been an envelope that sat there the entire show. So far, Veronica, can you pick that up, please? Before you open it, let's walk through this really quickly. You pick left or right. I allowed you to change your mind if you would like to. And you pick the page number. I told you you could change your mind. <coughs> so Chris, we stopped where you said stop, and you could have changed your mind if you wanted to. But we ended up where we ended up. All free will choices. Open that up, please. Confirm there's one piece of paper in it, one piece only. Yes. Pull it out, turn it around so the audience can see it. And tender. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>